So Baldor fled. I find it hard to believe. But the reality is my father has abandoned the capital, and the powers of the throne has been transferred to me. Then... Neither I nor the citizens of the Empire ever wished for this war. If your kingdom were to offer peace, we would be most receptive. Prince Gerard, after your good mother was sent to be wed, the kingdom and the Empire enjoyed amicable relations. I ask you now, Emperor Gerard, new sovereign of the Vale Empire, can there be peace between us again? <laughs> that is all I could ever ask. Much quicker than expected. The unidentified vessel is apparently no less than three hours away from Astrofor's orbit. And the Aldous? They are 16 hours out. Unfortunately, the unidentified vessel also possesses speed on par with the Astoria. Depending on what they want, it may be dangerous to take our time here. <sighs> I was hoping we would have had a bit more time. about Lola. Even if we apprehend her and take her with us, our own violations of military law rule out the prospect of a proper investigation. The Akizuki's purpose is to rescue the crew of the Edis. I'd prefer to postpone the arrest of any Virian deserters until we're properly prepared. Leticia, can you keep an eye on Lola in the meantime? Yes. There are a great many things we wish to ask her as well. Great, thank you. On behalf of the Federation, I sincerely apologize for this inconvenience. Oh, nice gesture. Uh, if only I could stick around a little longer, I could gather some intel from her and take it back to Vergold as a nice souvenir. Sorry for rushing off like this. If you cannot take me with you, then perhaps I can ask that you not leave. It'd be hard to refuse if you did. Forgive me. I did not intend to impose upon you. And yet... Must you leave so abruptly? We have yet to even thank you. You saved my life. Took me in and helped me to survive on this world. Rescued my friends as well. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair of me to ask you for anything else. You have made the princess cry. Hmm. A man who brings a woman to tears is a vile man indeed. Leaving? Yes. Remaining on this world any longer will do nothing more than cause harm. I am hoping this is not farewell forever. No, no. Weaver Goldians aren't bound by Federation laws. If I start missing you guys, I can come whenever I want. And if you call, I'll come running. Do not think of staying away too long. I dislike leaving my debts unpaid. Indeed, I formally command you to visit us again. I dare say your name shall never be forgotten in the kingdom of Osiris. Mariel to Akizuki, requesting transport. Ray, I... No better hands for this nation to be in than yours.
Deck one. Bridge. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, everyone? Well, there were a few crazy enough to join me in stealing a ship from a base. Well, when you put it like that, it feels like a lot. Let me introduce everyone. This is Sayuri, handling the helm, communications, and analysis. Pleased to meet you all. You have a single officer in charge of three stations? And here we have Pike. He's in charge of weapons, and defense systems, and transfers, and deflectors. Pleasure. Wow. Nah, this is a merchant ship, so I don't actually do all of that at once. And finally, there's Kasim, who has engineering all to himself. Kasim? Hi there. One person in engineering? Oh, and I'm the provisional captain. The four of us are the crew of the Federation merchant vessel GFSS-12193, the Akizuki. So, everyone, meet Captain Raymond of the merchant vessel Edis and his officers, Elena and Chloe. Our first order of business will be leaving the Aster system and getting you all to the Aldis. Given the extraordinary circumstances and the fact that an unidentified ship is approaching, I'd like to ask for your help. Is it all right if you assume some of Sayuri and Pike's stations? Captain Raymond, what does that console on the captain's chair tell you? You sure you should be showing me this? Mm, all I can say is it's not much different from the merchant ships I know. Then why don't you try sitting there? Whoa, whoa, enough with the crazy talk. Look, you're the only one present with actual experience as a captain. I thought you were in the military! And I'm sure your crew might have some objections to taking orders from a non-Federation civilian. Oh no, not at all. On the contrary, it'd be very reassuring. The long and short of it is... The Akizuki is the first ship we've ever operated completely by ourselves. What now? I'm impressed you were able to steal a ship in the first place. I'm ashamed to admit it, but the truth is we're in a little over our heads here. Can we lean upon those amazing skills that allowed your crew to escape the Astoria's attack alive? Oh man, I am never going to hear the end of this if Dad finds out. All right. First Officer Marielle, let's contact the Aldis before we depart. Understood, Captain. Chloe? Roger that. I'll open a channel with the Aldis in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Aldis, this is Communications Officer Chloe Canaris aboard the Federation merchant vessel Akizuki. C Chloe? Chloe, is, is that you? You're on a Federation ship? It's been a while, Antonio. Ray and Elena are here too. The Federation Akizuki and her crew are on our side and are lending us their support. Isn't that right, Ray? Yeah, this is Captain Raymond of the merchant vessel Akizuki. Yeah, we're all safe here, Antonio. Uh, I have no idea what the hell's going on, but I'm glad to hear you're all in one piece. We were able to recover the entire crew of the Eas. They're on their way back to Vergold. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you, Antonio. Hold position in your current sector. We're gonna start heading your way. We have an unidentified vessel approaching the Aster system. And we don't want to have contact with other ships right now, for various reasons. Yeah, then I don't recommend coming this way. It's crawling with Federation vessels. Vergoldian Interstellar sent out a warning. Ah, son of a... What do we do? We have no choice. Uh, Captain Antonio, I'm Mario L. Kenny, first officer of the Akizuki. Kenny? Uh, now you're shitting me. 
The unidentified vessel's ETA in this sector is approximately two hours. For Raymond and the others, I ask that you do everything you can to reach us at maximum speed. Uh, understood, Lieutenant Kenny. We'll rush over there, scramble warp 11. Uh, no, make that point 12. See you in the bit, Ray. Over. It will take them 10 hours to reach us. What shall we do, Captain? We play it by the book for now. Let's try to hail this unknown ship. I is that wise? It's necessary if they're not sending out an ID signal. And we'll be showing them that we intend to follow the rules of interstellar travel. Sayuri. Understood. I'll try a long distance hail via subspace communication. There's no response. I'm still not picking up an ID signal either. <laughs> Shy, are we? What's the combat loadout on this vessel? Well, we have four phase cannons, three layers of shields, no cloaking system, and a subspace warp engine. Let's pray they aren't hostile then. We'll play it by ear until they're 30 minutes away. Why not get some rest in the meantime? We have cabins for you on deck three. I'll contact you if something changes. You sure? I will stay here to support the others. You, go get some rest. All right then. I will gladly take you up on the generous offer. Wouldn't hurt to take a look around the ship, I guess. Wonder if Chloe's in her room. <laughs> 